He, he stands up and he just looks at you and he's like, Well, most people don't be asking to go out to the desert unless they want to die. On account of the fact that you'll boil yourself alive or you run out of water and you'll boil yourself alive. You'll get eaten and then you'll be boiled alive. Or you might just get punched into the ground a million times on account of the golems. So And, and then we boil alive after that, correct? Yeah, see, now you're starting to get it. Now I, I see understand. that you... I do understand. She understands. Uh, uh, the, so at, at, at that moment, I'm just going to go with the print and be like, oh, they grow up so fast. <laughs> well, I can say uh, um, you shut up, do Dad. seem quite not boiled right now. Mm, yeah, because I'm smart. As, as he takes off his belt, a decanter, and he just, like, opens it, and he's like, stream. I carry mm. water. Nim goes, I do too. See? Oh my gosh. Does Prin actually too. say that? Yes. Oh, you said Prin. No, does Prin mm -hmm. actually say it? Yeah, do you actually audibly go, oh my god? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. So he looks at Celeste and he's like, so what's up with tall, dark, and toothless over here being all sour pussy? Mm, oh, yes, that's he just does him that normally. He's had a long day. <laughs> He's quite effective on the battlefield, but I do think that the metal case he encapsulates himself in will cook him alive in the desert. Mm, maybe. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, you kookaburro. As he... Tits, tilts his hat to you. Prin is going to... He's going to just fold his arms slowly then just stare at him. Man, this guy's cool. Yeah. As he kind of walk, he walks... Hell no. So he walks up to Prin and he's like, Oh, come on. I know you're toothless, but you got a tongue, ain't you? You can say hi. Ma, hello! I'm going to slowly grin. Forcibly. And he's gonna show <laughs> off his fucking teeth. Does not look quite toothless. My How come I can't get a smile out of you? <laughs> Why do he you never smile for me? He We're slowly yay. turns to Samson while not changing his expression at all. <laughs> now, was that so hard? Yeah, shouldn't you be it. a little nicer on your honeymoon? <laughs> as he reaches yeah, up and what now? As he reaches over and puts his hand on Prince's shoulder. Come on! Samson doubles over in laughter, just literally slapping his own knee. Uh, I'm I am glaring at Samson. When his shoulder is touched, he kinda he kinda <laughs> curls his lips up, but it doesn't say anything. Is this a lover's spat? No, it's not a lover's spat. I'm literally okay. tolerating both of them. And it's quite hard. I'm trying to be nice. Yes, yeah, so I believe element. tolerating this man would be much better than tolerating the heat of the desert, so can we get back on that, please? Sure. Maybe you should listen to the little lady, Cupcake. She seems to be quite smarter than you. And as he walks back over to Celeste, So, little lady, you want me to take you through the desert, oi? You want me yes. to teach you how to survive, oi? Correct. Well then, what was your plan for going to hell? You Literally. mean... You mean the desert? Uh-huh, yeah. My apologies what? if you thought I meant any double talk. But as I, you um... can imagine, out there in the rusty old outback, eh, well, like I said, boiled alive, boiled alive, boiled alive, boiled alive. And also punched within the dirt, from what I remember. Yes, that would be um, the sand golems, my little <laughs> old lady. Um, yes, see, that is also part of the ecology in Zanzibar, so I believe we must trek through it. Well then, that little one, little pep square over here, as he ruffles Nim's hair a little bit, she's gonna be quite useful if she's got one of those, as he holds up his own decanter. 
Nim gives him a smile. She has been putting it to use a lot already. Well, let's get out of this, Smithy, because it's a little hot. I feel like some people are getting a little more hot-headed than they ought to be. As he picks up... Do not worry, he is always like that. As he picks up his shotgun, nods to the blacksmith. I'll have him done by sundown. Oh, I, I would expect nothing less, old friend. Without ever making eye contact with the, uh, as I walk next to him, the hunter, I'm just going to say, uh, by the way, my name is Celeste. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Lawrence Everworth the Fourth. Is oh, Lawrence man. okay? Ah, yeah, you could sick Lawrence. You could call me Hunter. You could, but just never call me late to anything that involves food or liquor. As he takes a flask off his waist and takes a swig. I did not intend sharing a meal with you, but I will keep that in mind. You're a bit of a little. You're a bit of a literal duck, aren't you? I am also not a duck, but I do understand that that is a uh, a joke. Yep, she's a bit of a literal one. As he, <laughs> as he, a he, bit. He signals over his shoulder, and he wants Samson and Prin to follow. His I little... got some business to take care of. Well, suit yourself. Come on, my duckies. Let me know where you're going. I'll be there in a jiff. So anyway, mm. about them virus. <laughs> Uh, Nim calls back. Don't forget to tell Hyala. Oh yeah, where is Yala? What is, what is Hyala up to? Yeah, let's cut the Hyala. What's Hyala doing? Uh, uh spotlight she time. It would just be somewhere vibing ah. in the sunny patch of ground. Vibe check. <laughs> <laughs> And? I mean, if either a local shows up and she has to interact with them, or they don't, and she's probably just in some corner where there aren't any other people just like humming to herself or something. Literally vibing. So yeah. we go over to Hyala and we see her pleasantly oh, no. sitting in a sunspot, humming to herself. That's not gonna last. I didn't even mean to say that, say humming, it just came out. Apparently, everything Hyala <laughs> does. Starts off with her name. This is apparently becoming a, a tick. Help me. You're vibing. Um, a hick? <laughs> no, nah, yuck. Oh. It's becoming a yuck! Oh, go yuck uh. yourself. Oh. <laughs> I yuck and will. I hate this. You hate a lot of things. Stop being print. I wonder why! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> us too. Yeah! Uh. <laughs> Anyway, so having checked in on Hyala and her grand adventure of humming and singing, we go back to our three little uh, gremlins following old Lawrence around. Well, three gremlins? Yeah, you, Nim, and Prin. Oh, Prin, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's a gremlin. Prin Primlin? Prinlin? <laughs> Pringles. Yeah. Pringles. So, on a side note, my math might be a little bit out there, but I'm... Oh, God. <laughs> in, a, in about a standard barrel, not even the largest I could find, about a standard barrel, you could get about... All right, I'm going to bed. 8,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about a number I predicted. I'm capping you out of 1,000 rounds. I'll take a thousand rounds and two knives. What? Oh. You didn't agree on knives. Well, yeah, because I had to do the math. Well, fair enough. God. So anyway, you three are following behind our, our dear hunter Lawrence. And he says, Well, so start talking to me, my little duckies. Where? Why are you calling us duckies? <laughs> it's a turn of phrase there. Now, you want okay. to go to the desert. And as far as I see it, not a single one of you are going to survive, except for maybe that one, but she doesn't fully know how to use that decanter to the best of its abilities out there in the 140-degree, 45-degree heat. 
You'll That's probably. Hot. Oh, yeah, it is. You'll probably burn alive first, Toaster Match. As he points over to Prim. Mm-hmm. Yes, that is my concern. And that's you on account- You like don't you? Oh, my little one of me. Oh, I love nicknames. It's great. It's fun. Anyway, your internal body temperature is going to heat you up, Salamander. And that's going to be bad. You're going to need dousing yourself. All right, all right, all right. Enough, enough. Hold on. My name is Prim Kulo. That's my name. I'm not Salamander. I'm not a toaster. My name's Prim. <laughs> if we could at least start with that. Go with toaster? Oh, <laughs> God damn it. I can't believe I haven't thought of that. <laughs> oh. I can't believe I haven't thought of that. That's so good. Well, I'm a <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so anyway, that was, that was all I was gonna say. That was all I was gonna say. Was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all well and good, but I'm not much for remembering names. So yeah, <laughs> as he turns around and just finger guns you with a quick snap. Ugh. I know I'm not here, but I hate this guy. <laughs> I love this guy. I know I'm not here, but I love this guy. <laughs> I wish he was more of an asshole like he was to begin with. But, you know, he's still cool. Well, he's cool for now. <laughs> he's oh, still an ass. Until he sobers. <laughs> so, what's the plan? As he turns around and kneels on his... Uh, Shotgun, like it's a walking stick. Not Neil's, uh, The ladies. plan was to consult a professional uh, to give us advice, and my own personal idea was to possibly find a magic item to allow us to stay cooler, much like a friend of ours has. And not die. That's important. Yes. And how is that magic item going to work? What do you it mean? It keeps her cold. Okay. Yeah, as he kind of just, you know, pulls his hand down across his face, like, okay. So, you want to go to somewhere very hot, and you were hoping to get by with magic for what could be an incredibly long journey, and you've got a friend who has a personal amulet. I'm gonna take a wild guess, kookaburras. And say that it's probably ice stone. Now, mm, yes. disregarding the number of problems we've got already, you literally were planning to just, for lack of better words, walk into the desert as he does a walking hand with one hand on top of the other, just like simulating a little walking man. Walk into this desert, and that's the extent of plan you had, besides talking to me. How well, do you know? We weren't planning on walking into the <laughs> desert until after we talked to you. That is an important distinction. Well, you didn't have any sort of plan put together beforehand, but you said you wanted to go to the desert. Planning's important when you're going on any kind of safari, expedition, hiking trail, camping trip. No plan means no go. Unless, well, you want to be using him as a target. And how do you plan without the correct knowledge? That is why we've consulted you. True. Very true. But generally, people have a rough idea of what they're doing before they do it. And you're studying the wildlife. Uh, Yes, I would say we have a rough idea. Um, There is a lot of walking and wildlife expeditions to find specific (laughs) animals and whatnot. We will look for any signs and tracks of beast and study them he, he walks over to the still pond in the middle of the plaza and he just sits down and he's like okay let's start from somewhere else the magic you were going to use to keep cool walk me through how do you envision that working the ice stone uh, for her, 
It sounds like a personal hand made it. Too small. How are you going to keep what I now count as five people cool enough to survive in the desert? Well, let me first ask you, how did you do it? Was it only the decanter? He literally takes it, holds it above his head, strain, and just douses himself in water. Well, that does seem like a good plan. <laughs> that in combination with the, the ice stone would keep us quite cool, I would think. He starts shaking his head. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Number one problem with that gemstone. You are not even going to make it through the savannah unless you want to be fighting a ton. But the savannah and the desert are native to Zord. They will sniff out any kind of gemstone you have, and the nice ones are going to want you to give it to them. The bad ones are going to try and eat you for it. So unless you are going to be fighting every single second of your life, ditch the rocks. Right on. Gemstone's gone. But Nim, Nim says... But our tabaxi friend will die if she doesn't have it. And that's where your decanter's going to come in. Because water oh God, is going to be your friend. Joker. Unless you all think that you're going to literally try and kill just about every single zone you come across within miles of radius, you, my little gophers, are going to be earth glided through the ground and then turned into soup. If you manage to find the nice ones, which are typically tan, and you have any gemstones on you, start getting rid of those that way. They're pretty nice, and usually they will trade gems they don't want for gems they do want. Now, are they, are they interested in non-magical gems as well? They'll eat anything. It's literally food for them. Now, I'm gonna look at, might... I'm gonna look at the ring on my finger with like the uh, amethyst on it. Now, you might be able to get through with the ice stone, because that's pretty valuable, as you might imagine. Keeps you cold, very tasty. Hell, if you manage to meet the one I usually parlay with, because, by the way, they are not stupid. They're basically little tiny people that live through the ground and have three arms and three legs. You parlay with that one going through the safari, trade them the ice stone, you might even get some gems that might keep you safe for a while. Big trades there. But you need water, and when you get to the sands, you're going to double need water. Because most of the things out in the old safari there are usually heat sensitive. Which means if you're cold, they won't see you as he just starts passing his hand in front of his face. Hmm. Golems will crush you. They're like that big my time old... is now. They are like big, sandy old bastards, and they run really quickly and pound you like you wouldn't believe. Uh, phrasing. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. But... You motherfuckers. So, so you are. So you are currently telling us that the ice stone is actually a great idea. Not for using in the way you think. That poor girl is gonna find out that she's gonna have to throw that thing away and watch it get eaten up. Unless she's stubborn, and then, yeah, sure, you could try and kill every Zorn on the way, but, uh, well, I consider some of the Savannah ones my friends, so if I find out you started killing them left and right, well, as did he you, just cocks his shotgun, just... Did you mention earlier trading with them? Oh, yeah, they're smart. The nice ones that don't want to kill you anyway. Yes, yes. They speak Terran, so I don't know if anyone here... Did is... they write? Huh? Do they have a written language? Yeah, Terran. Then I can speak with them. Is that sim? Oh, you're fine. Never mind. I was gonna say if that's similar to another one. No, I I can read any written language. Even if you couldn't, they're smart little buggers. They'll point and click and dance whatever they want. And it's almost like talking to a child, especially when they start throwing temper tantrums. And what do they? What do they? Required to trade with gems, I assume. Yeah, they, it's literally just trading for food. Which so a gem food. for a gem. Eh, gems for what they don't want. Sometimes they spit them up, and you know they're really pretty, but uh, not good for much. At least around here, I would imagine when y'all eventually get well, the hell gone and go home. You could probably fetch incredible prices for what you might get out of them, but otherwise... I'm not worried about that right now. Hmm. 
Fair enough. I don't know about the outside world. I just know that you five are going to die if you don't follow my instructions. So that's yes. what I'm here to do. Make sure y'all don't die. You are doing a decent job so far. All guarantees on pause when you're out of my sight. If you die out there, unfortunately for you, <laughs> I don't care. Fair. I can respect that. So, you can't walk around the desert unless you're going to constantly be, well, dousing yourself forever. And I don't think a contain decanter can take that much stress. So... What creatures have you uh, met so far? Let, let's parlay, because I know pretty much all of them, and I'm racking my brain to think what's going to survive the heat of the desert. Flail snails, parrot bears, mm -mm. those mm -mm. pitui birds? Is that he, correct? He, he yeah. kind of just gives you, like, are you, are you serious look? I am merely listing what I have seen. List the things that you think are useful, sweetheart. Um, a Tarask or Hydrask. <clears throat> he just like cocks his head. He's like, "All right." But besides that being, as he strokes his chin, half an incredible idea. How do you think we're gonna wrangle one of those? I do not. But then that list theory, the useful that ones. Sound like it would be useful. We I've... haven't met anything that'll survive the heat. I imagine, are there creatures in the savanna that could do us uh, justice? Any of you good at taming animals, my tumbleweights? No. Uh, the we one do, in the green man? Yes, we do have a friend who seems to be quite good at it. Like, he's an actual tamer. Got all um, the magics for taming and stuff. He is a rancher, from what I've heard. Then I'm going to say out in the wild you're going to get Um, so no on the tame. Uh, hold on. Let me check what Potion of Animal Friendship does. I think we gotta find I need to double check that it's not the one that makes them hostile to you. I, animal Friendship makes them hostile? Excuse me? I think if it fails. <laughs> so he strokes his chin a few times and... Oh, I don't know, Cinnamon Stick, you got anything for the table? Was that directed towards the tall red one? Oh, oh. okay. I see cinnamon stick. Ah. Oh. Um. No, I don't. I don't tame animals. No, he does no. the slaying part. What? You got I more ideas animals. than being surly and cross-armed? <laughs> what do you want from me? I'm. What do you want from me? I am literally... An idea! A brain! I'm literally just sitting here. An idea! A brain, Kookaburro! Anything you got! Come on, Nim speak! You got that of big, animal beautiful maybe? Uh, I see what... Uh, Nim has an idea. That's a great idea, Nim. What was that about the potion of our family friendship? <laughs> Nim, this is the best day of Nim's life. She's been told she's in charge twice. She was told she was useful, oh. and now he's like, that's a great idea. Nim is loving this place. I also <laughs> said you were very abrasive. So so he kind of just, like, shakes his head at Prin and looks over. Well, tiny one, what we got here? Yeah, the potion of animal friendship. Hmm. You think, how long do you think this is going to last? An hour. Are you all planning on only being in the desert for an hour? Ideally, yes. yes. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah, we're just like. I mean, if we could do that in an hour's time, that would be great. It'd be fantastic, actually. Well, is an hour enough time for us to convince it to help us? No, I think after the hour, it uh, wants to whip our throats out. Um, As he kind of snaps his fingers and points at Celeste, it's like, there you go. After the hour is up, you're in for a one hell of a fight. No, so this one, this one just convinces it that you mean no harm. Oh. This one doesn't actually uh, piss it off afterwards. So, mean Wait, no harm. Wait, you said harm. it has a duration of an hour? Yeah, it has a duration of an hour. 
Well, then after that hour, doesn't it just like not think that anymore? That's what my inclination would be. No, no, no. When you drink this potion, you can cast Animal Friendship for an hour. The spell itself oh, lasts okay. for 24. Okay. Oh. Shit. Shit. And after that 24 hours... After that 24 hours, it's just... I mean, I guess the animal can decide whether or not it likes us or not. I'm gonna assume no. You could be like, man, these are these are real homies. Or not. So do you clear up yeah, the so distinction here's the that it's... Effect. So do you it clear doesn't... up the distinction that it's not only an hour? It's 24 hours. The spell itself yeah. is 24 hours. Well, I'm talking about in character. Yeah, Nim does clear it up. Because she should know. Well, that's a little better than the toilet water I thought you had in this bottle. But still, same question. After 24 hours, are you positive you're going to be able to convince that whatever it is, not to eat you? I would assume not to be right. Yeah, I might. So, I, again, he just starts shaking his finger at, towards Celeste, and then he looks back at her. You know, despite not looking like you go in the outback, you certainly got a good head on your shoulders for figuring out situations. Never go into the wilderness and expect that things will go your way. As he hands the bottle back to Nim. That is just an uh, example for life. So let's see. <laughs> What's this green one you described to me? Cause he I don't... stayed back at the smithy. Ah, with the animal. The smart one. The dumbest smart one. The smart one. Laugh. It depends on the day. Uh, 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 is he just, that's fair. As he just pauses, like, oh, okay, so your party's pretty much entirely consumed of 50% useful and then 50% just not useful anymore. What are you kids doing here? Oh, boy. So, you know, that's not the first time we've been asked that. <laughs> I wonder why. I do, too. It's as, so strange. As he just reaches out and pats them on the head. <laughs> so we've got okay what about the one I haven't seen Kiala's uh Bye, no I'm trying to find a way to phrase it I did pause Kiala's <laughs> pause um... pause <laughs> pause literally yeah. huh. beans oh Yellow's really strong. She's also about as tall as you. And she's really good at finding things. Okay, what's your speciality? <laughs> I haven't asked. I thought uh, you said something else. Yeah, he asked what her speciality is, right? <laughs> like, like, what she does. What's oh. her role in? <laughs> Hunter. Grumps. She grumps. She Sasuke's. She, um... <laughs> she Sasuke's. She's really cool. Paniculo, yeah, really cool. the beautiful! <laughs> she Yellow's is quite, really uh, cool. She's she quite experienced in surviving in the wild for, uh, mountainous regions. Uh, I was thinking She's more of what her fighting style is, because I can definitely see you two aren't lifting up any big hammers here. And well, absolutely not. No offense, no. Tiny. I don't see you casting any magic anytime soon. She talking to Nim? Oh, he's talking to Prin. Oh. <sighs> no, Nim I don't goes uh, magic. Just got those massive beefcake guns going. I see. Well, okay, Tumbleweed. So yeah, he's really strong. He can carry it. Literally all your muscle. We've got 50 <laughs> 50 gambling green. We've got bookie one and bookie two. And then we've got mystery, which I'm still waiting on an understanding of. She's she can do a lot. She can fight far She's away. She's a hunter. 
Well, now you're in business! I, I thought you would like to hear that. Yes, if anybody's capable of hunting, then it's gonna be her. I suggest you put her on point for your little expedition. Keep that decanter close, and we still gotta find you a mount, because there's no way in hell you're walking all the way there. Do you have um, camels? What's a camel? Nim Never casts mind. minor illusion and shows him what a camel is. Wait, wait, camels camels exist in this setting, right? Just not in Zanzibar? Uh, yeah, not Zanzibar. Okay, I'd, I'd say they, Yeah, I'd say they definitely exist. Because I was thinking, like, uh, where I'm from, it seems like we'd have a few camels. Yeah, Nim shows him what a camel is. How does that Good thing dog. live? Look at how skinny it is! I could snap those twigs with my kneecap! Nim explains yes. that one, no you can't, and two... <laughs> How a camel works. How does a camel work? The entire camel. Oh, you, How does it work? You, you put a quarter in and then it goes. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I actually know a lot about camels, so if you have a specific question, well, depending on specific, I should be able to answer it. I appreciate it. I've never had a specific camel question in my whole fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think I ever will. <laughs> and I love yeah. animals. But Nimic explains the basics right. of the camel. Well, we can't think of any natural way to get you there, so let's start thinking outside of the box. That is what I like to hear. Hmm. I wish Nim were stupid so Nim could say, I like boxes. God. I mean, you still hey, could. You wish I'm not stupid and I would say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Nim wouldn't say that. Well, you got plenty of water. There's five of you. You can't all walk, so you're definitely going to need a mouth. It's easy enough for me, I just hoof it with the dangos, but that's me and not you. Hmm. As he starts looking around the farmland, he's like, Ah, water bugs! And as he gets up and he starts walking off. Uh, What's a water bug? I, I, I'm going to follow him after being like confused. Yeah, Bunny! Kookaburro! Matchstick! Come on, let's go! Who's Bunny? And who's Cuckoo That is certainly you. Certainly not me. No, you are Matchstick. Come. <laughs> Why am I a bunny? I thought I was a duck. You're all my Why? duckies for now. Now let's go hoof it. Come on! I Woohoo! do not understand this man's terminology. I don't think we ever will. <laughs> I am okay with that. And we'll follow. Be it's like anyway. Samson never left the party. Uh. <laughs> He's speaking nonsense as ever. That was Samson. So, Are you pinging where he is? Yeah, he kind of runs out to the field. What? He just runs out, okay? He just starts yeah. running out into the farmland, going you waiting. Still, bro, Prince still naked as fuck. <laughs> oh shit, it's my armor. Your armor's still getting worked on. Yeah. Oh, fuck. So anyway, he starts huffing it through the mud. And stuff. Come on now, uh, come on now, Gaze, It's well, not that far. I guess, I guess I'll, I guess Prin will just be out there without his. No, 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 no. I'm go. gonna listen, 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 listen. I'm gonna create. I'm gonna use mold earth to create a dry patch as I walk <laughs> to follow him. What? You're, You're just, just gonna <laughs> mold earth a bridge so you don't get mud on a you. A bridge yes. in the middle of their farmland. Yes. <laughs> And I'll cover it up. I'll, I'll like fix it behind us. But sure. Yeah, you're gonna <laughs> fix all the plants that you uprooted. Man, oh. <laughs> the roots are still in there. <laughs> yeah, loosely on the surface of the fucking ground after you molded earth into a dry bridge. <laughs> Crack that fucking crag dirt around all those carrots and parsnips. Yeah, they're fine. All right, I won't do it. I won't do it. But. <laughs> I mean, it'd be really funny, but you'd piss off everyone. You would shoot me. Yeah. It, it'd be so disrespectful. I have a better idea. I have a better idea. I have a better idea. We'll just walk through the mud for now. It, yeah. I mean, especially yeah, so... when you have, like, prestidigitation. Literally uprooting all of their crops and just making a bridge just so you can stay clean. It's like the biggest dick move ever. Hey, welcome to the party, baby. <laughs> Actually, I was gonna suggest that Prin borrow Samson's cloak 
So he looks at dress. I'm not doing it. <laughs> then he needs to go find some Stay clothes. naked. Stay naked. Um. If we can find, like, a rock, Nim can give you her magic clothes so you can have a shirt. I mean, he's not wearing naked. an undershirt. He's Keep already like wearing clothes. He's not <laughs> naked. It's just a like joke. Not <laughs> keep, him, keep him like this. Leave him like this. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, can oh. I get some artwork commissioned to print in his undergarment? Oh my god. Double cheeked up. <laughs> Double cheeked up on a Thursday <laughs> afternoon. Matchstick oh and his homies. If he's okay with it. I'm literally just standing here. I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> All right, we're following this fucking crackhead. We're just Nim walking through the mud. This is the first time yeah, she's I'm ran I'm like reluctantly here. walking through the mud. All right, now water bugs. They're slow. They're big. They're kind of sometimes stinky if you don't feed them right, but. They metabolize really slow, they're great for agriculture, and THEORETICALLY, THEORETICALLY, as he waves his arm in the sky, all you'd have to do is keep watering the damn thing. Put a tarp over top of it, you've got the cool water vapor trapped under that, you keep a cool area, it's perfectly hydrated, you just have to feed it for the length of time that you want it to be in there. And given the amount of food you'd have to get, uh, let it graze in the glass grasslands before you hit the raw savanna. You could probably get a few weeks out of it before it needs to be fed again. We just got to find one that hasn't eaten, and he goes over to a big mud mound and just slaps it. Wake up, girl! And, and all of a sudden, the ground starts to rumble as this big old, like, half squid, half crab monstrosity just starts sitting up. Uh oh. How big is it? Uh, let me remember. <laughs> I like questions. Have a name. Let me consult That's my memory. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Who is screaming? Everybody is screaming. Three. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> So, I'll put it on a handout, because I haven't gotten a chance to make the block for it yet. A serious note. Ah! Un momento in all players' journals. Woo. Okay. <clears throat> oh, there it is. What is it? Water bug. Why is it blank? So you have to give us permission. Uh, you have permission. Uh, I don't have shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we need to stop by a point. To get the, I, uh... I see the thing that says water bug, but it doesn't say nothing. Yeah. We need well, to stop by someone who makes just the, the fact uh, that the world body doesn't work. Wait, uh -huh. there it is. There it is. What the fuck? This is not what I was expecting. Yeah. But Nim's gonna ask if he has a name. So you ask Lawrence if it has a name? Yeah. Like a real name, not one of his funny made up ones. It's gonna be a, he well, turns around, he looks at you and like, well, to be fair, no, I have no fucking idea what this thing's name is. I just came out in the field. Isn't that right, little baby? As he just starts like running his hands up and down one of the tentacles and just like... Why, why is it that this monstrosity gets the most normal nickname out of everybody? <laughs> I like that it's blue. You want to be called Little Baby? No, but it's, it's better than... <laughs> Boy, Little Baby! Come on, right. Come over here! Give we'll old see some uh, love! Oh, Starter, you left roll 20. Probably just having issues. Ah. Ain't he always. 
Pran? I am, yes. Uh, are you alive? <laughs> I was restarting. Or was we uh, crashing? Oh, we didn't hear that. Strider, if you're here, don't say anything. <laughs> That's so mean. Damn, he's oh, good. Is... <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? What is this? It's the right, water okay. bug. Hey, it's a water yeah. bug. Uh, it's your, it's, a, it's your new best friend. It's little it's a, baby, the water bug. It's a, uh, it's called a bug, despite it being a mollusk crustacean. crustacean. What are crustaceans besides just sea bugs? They're crustaceans. Crustaceans. Yeah. <laughs> I. Well, no, seriously, like, think about it. What is a crustacean besides just an insect in the water? <laughs> they really they related? What, what is a car but a metal carriage? Stop asking dumb questions. <laughs> wow. Well. So, is he is he just, like, giving us this, or do we have to ask someone permission? Like, what? Oh, no. Uh, here? You, you gotta were, lick it. You were right. He, he, he literally right, just, he just crackheaded out and just walked into the middle of the field to slap the water bug. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't give it much more thought than that. Until, of course, he's the, he... he's the guy who's gonna save us, huh? <laughs> he, he's basically just a crackhead. <laughs> so, Nim's like, is is this not somebody's property? Or friend? Or pet? Or whatever? Well, yeah, it's old Joe's farm. I... Hey, you followed me out here. But anyway, if we saddle up one of these, <laughs> convince the farmer to let you borrow one... Uh, swear on your lives you won't get it killed. We could get you on one of these out into the desert and you'll be fine. You just have to make sure it stays hydrated. Otherwise, it's going to shrivel up like a crispy crab and then, my duckies, you're going to be screwed. And then you'll die. But won't be my problem. Out of sight, out of mind. No offense. <laughs> As he starts... Well, as he literally starts walking away from the bug, as it kind of, as it just like looks at all of you, I'm just like, um, do you know who owns this creature? He said it was Joe. Who's Joe? Joe Mama. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a away. That was beautiful. Uh... <laughs> that was that was skill. Not a point of inspiration skill, but that was. Uh, you know what? I'm fine with that. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, he starts walking back, and he's like, "So we've got next turtle. Actually, convincing somebody that this crazy plan is feasible and that you should be allowed to take it." Works kind of uh, as he like eyes over the three of you again. He's like, "Works cut out for me, but I've done worse." That's Samson's job. He's really good with words. As he kind of like stops and turns around and says, Sam who? Sam's who? son. Son of Sam. Sammy who? Sam. Who? 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 Is that the green one or is that the hunter? He's the green one. It's the green one. Well, considering the, the last time I borrowed something from old Joe, I nearly got shot in the head. We're going to go get old Sammy boy. That sounds like you stole it. Didn't steal. Didn't steal. I just Let's walked. Through, I just walked through his garden without permission. So <laughs> come on, duckies. Let's go. And as he starts so... trekking through the mud again in the opposite direction. Uh, so. A thief. <laughs> Nim says that sounds shady, but that's not my problem. Literally Pretty not a down. thief. I just walked through the patch without his permission. And hit a few crops, much like we're doing right now. So come on, let's go. Oh, so you're you are telling me that he could walk out at any moment and fire at us? Literally, yes. Pick awesome. up the pace. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm walking out. Ugh. So you start traipsing through the mud and following him all the way back to the smithy. Uh. And as he walks up, mud kicked around his ankles. He's like. Uh, son of Sam! Uh, by the way, Nimcast presses a station on everyone. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Yeah, no, like, the second they were out of the mud, Nim's not staying muddy. She won't let you stay muddy either. Yeah. That's fine by me. 
Friends are not allowed to be muddy. Hello, Sam, son. We have returned. Oh, hey, you guys. You got kidnapped by that, uh... Before outpost. you even finish, he kind of just, like, puts his hands on your, on your shoulders and, like, Ah, Sammy boy, son of Sam, my little kookaburra will be chestnut cola. I'm just gonna slowly look at right him. Back at, like, right back at you, you slim picking son of a bitch. How's it yeah, going? I, I just have like an annoyed face as I look at Prim, like, oh no, I know it's gonna come next. Anyway! You know, you know I always took you for the ranching time. You think you'd be going down on the uh, desert there? How's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah you show my that. friends a good time? And and showed them how not to die? Cause, like, as, as you're literally talking, he literally just covers your mouth with his hands, like, enough of your yippee yappy small one. Come on, let's go. And he just grabs your hand <laughs> and starts pulling you away. So, I, before he pulls, like, as he's pulling me away, I look back at the uh, uh, smithy and it's like, we're good, right? Good, thank you. Uh, and the smithy kind of just raises a hand, and you literally start going back across town again to the farmhouse. Uh, how, hold gonna... on, hold on, hold on, hold on, and I dig your heels in. I dig my heels in, and be like, okay, now what are we doing? We're well, convincing yeah. Joe to give us a water bug so we don't die in the desert. Who? Who's Joe? Joe, uh, Joe Mother. Don't what? Don't <laughs> worry about that. Don't worry about that, right? Does, does Celeste no, no, say that? I would not. <laughs> Celeste of all people does. Oh, that's funny. That's so out of character. Oh, that would be so funny. No, 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 no. What are we doing now? He just, and, 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 he just covers your mouth again. Well, you see, I was told that you have a right way of speaking. And old Joe, yeah, he's a crappy little old. We need a water bug to get you guys in the desert. Hip scoping and popping away. Oh, and goodness, furthermore... As long as you can pull this off, we'll be able to do it. So I need your best charismatic nature. So come on, young man! As he starts What's dragging you off again. And then I move. stop again and be like, I'll be right back. What? what? And I want to start going towards the, um, towards the ranch uh, that dropped off the owl bears. Oh my Especially goodness. now with, like, I, I, did Dink go back after we dropped the shell off? I imagine so, walking from the smithy to the farm, you kind of like took Dink back after the shell was unloaded. Well, yeah, because I'm, I'm going to be doing that now. Okay, so you're doing that now? Yeah. I'll go up to the uh, rancher. Now that like some time has passed, be like, um, all right, um, here's Mr. Dink. You know, getting him, getting him accounted for. Are you saying that, or are you just like... Yeah, I'm saying... Yada yada Oh, you're saying to him. Yeah. So, you, you see him kind of like... Spreading out... Meat for the owl bears, and he's just doing it slowly. Because, you know... Even at this yeah. point, some time has passed, but like... But like, it obviously like... Nothing's gonna go. Um... I mean, you, you can always feed him, but I, I fed those two this morning, and, uh, you need some help there? Oh, I got it. Alright, um, a question for you, since you seem to know your way around town, and Aye. concerning you live here. Uh, what kind of man is this, uh, old farmer Joe? Depends. What are you needing from him? A uh, similar, a uh, similar service as we uh, requested of your brother. Um, we gonna be traveling through the desert, and uh, your fast talking uh, town hunter man said that a water bug might be the best thing to get a lot of us through the desert at one time. So you look up, you look back at his face, and his eyebrows are furrowed, and his mouth is just hanging open. Ew. What? I know Ew. it's a genius plan. It's... <laughs> this is the town hunter. That. We we one. get you. you... 
I don't know. I, I literally just met him, and he told me that this was his plan, and, well, let's just say I'm coming to you as uh, the closest thing we got to a confidant in here. Lay it to me straight. Is this the dumbest thing you've heard in a while? He, he, while you're doing that, he's just got his finger, like, curled in his mouth, and he's just, like, full thought, like, biting it, like, I, it's not dumb, it's, it's actually fucking brilliant. Wait, how are you gonna supply enough water to the water bug in order to keep it hydrated in that We got one of, we got one of them infinite water bottles, like he got. Hydro flask. Yeah. So for yeah, the we first got one of the hydro flask. For for the first time since giving him the shovel, he's actually smiling while like covering his hand with his mouth. He's like, "That son of a bitch, that's fucking genius." Wait, yeah, that crackhead was good for something. Hold on, wait. Yep. Oh, no. as he just reaches out and grabs your shoulder, he's like. Who's talking to old Joe about taking one of his water bugs into the desert? Uh, your hunter was gonna have me do it because uh, I'm a, oh, I'm good with people, yeah, but do you think you might be able to help me out? <laughs> Hell no! I'm not telling old Joe I'm done yet. <laughs> no, yeah, that's fair enough. No, uh, no, no. You got me any? You, <laughs> you got any uh, advice on how to deal with Joe? Look him up, pay him off. Uh, rub his back. As he just lays his hand on your chest, don't get shot. As he starts walking back towards the owl bears. I am well, so glad I left my armor there. Great advice. You're telling me, you're Samson. <laughs> you're you're telling me, you're, here. you're Samson. In fact, the only, the only one I can imagine seeing is just Hyala vibing somewhere by the ranch. Bruh. Just, just like being right, like a right flower here. Just being like a flower maiden. And then you hear a, a shotgun blast in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there in the flowers, just humming away, being a flower maiden. And meanwhile, y'all on our wacky adventure to go figure out what you're doing. All right, here <sighs> we'll come collect you if we find a place to stay or whatnot. Uh, have fun. And then I'm gonna go meet back with everyone else. I'm just sitting there like extremely bored. It's my my chin in my hands. Well, that was a crapshoot. Uh, eh, let's try and go for it. What the hell? Worst case scenario, we die. We die. We die. Yes, that I would rather. Sound very appealing. I would rather yeah. die here than in the desert. He yeah, kinda... this, sound, this seems quicker. He just looks at the floor and he's like. Welcome to Zanzibar. Now let's go to old Joe's. <laughs> what right. did you take that gives you so much energy? Why the idea of it? Why the simple idea that could possibly work and be fantastic and amazing? Every My hundred... friend said that, and then she blew up the laboratory. Oh, you have someone like that too. Yeah. Everybody's got a crackhead friend. What the hell's a laboratory? Mine's the head professor. <laughs> my crackhead friend runs my institution. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are Samson's first friends. Who said we're yeah. friends? <laughs> oh, you know. oh! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, you know. So anyway. <laughs> Not him. He'll never admit it. So anyway, yeah. Lauren slips behind you and starts pushing Samson. Yeah, 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 I got oh, it, I got let's it. Let's go, I, I, I got it, you desert fair and coop. Whatever you say, green one. So it, it so it's over here, right? Yeah. Y'all could tag along. In fact, I'm, yeah, it's I'm, implied I'm you are. My, I'm moving my thing. I'm staying behind the fucking crackhead. Yeah. He's behind me, and I take it Nim's behind Celeste and Prince. Wait, is just... Prince here? Does Prince tag along? I oh, imagine. Yeah, he was with. Yeah, he was with. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. Nim hides behind Prince. Right. Yeah. I mean, sure. <laughs> so anyway, so, so you come we're, up. We're in the middle of the day, right? 
Yeah, it's about early afternoon at this point. Like, the map's not to scale. It never can be. Yeah. Now Unless it's really Everingal. Unless it's Everingal, in which case it's... <laughs> too big. It's to scale, it's just in the wrong direction. <laughs> it, it's too... Well, it's not... Even that was not to scale. It was as close to scale as possible. <laughs> Anywho. I would have crashed World 20 if I made it any bigger. You should have. It's a sacrifice we're willing to make. Yeah. Wow, didn't realize you didn't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm but, only playing uh, if it's accurate. So you so, walk up to this uh, obvious farmhouse that coincidentally all three of you passed by <laughs> and it was like... Again. <laughs> ah, well, I hope you have your own Tongue watered, whatever you need. As he just pats Samson on the hat. You know what? I think I might need a little bit of a uh, courage, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of a swig from that leftover wine I have in the bag of holding. Oh no! So this is going to go poorly. He kind of tucks his hands to his pockets and he walks up to the door. He takes one out and he just goes. And then kind of just starts walking away with a hurried step, and he just moves Samson in front of him. I'm, I'm sitting up to the I'm side. Go I'm going to, like, ready my body to take a dodge if I think gunfire's <laughs> coming. <laughs> right from the rancher's advice of just don't get shot, I am prior prioritizing that first and foremost. So... That is fair. So... Every all four of you roll me perception. Oh, jeez. Uh, four of us, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, Kyle's hey. not here. Kyle like hears something in the what distance. The fuck is the cat? Ooh, vibing. <laughs> She's vibing. Sing, humming songs in the meadow. She's being peaceful. Where? Vibing. In the in meadow. The in, in Zanzibar Alley. You know, right next to Zanzibar yeah. Ward and Zanzibar Fields. You're in Zanzibar Fields. Come on, give it the oh. fucking program. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Brand. Dude, why is Rule 20... Hold on. Shit sucks. Change your... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> change your, change your uh, character first, and then... What? Oh. Yeah, you're... Yeah, but it you're does that when it restarts. You're Tempexo. You gotta be... Oh, okay, I need to restart. Hold on. Bye. Rule 20 is it's nice I'm, I'm, you. I, it's just Roll 20 what, seems it's to be Roll doing 20. that. I'll miss you. Yeah. Bye. Roll 20 Man. is having a moment. It's definitely have, it's having a moment. Bro moment 37. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go Roll 20! Uh, <laughs> certified bro moment. That's All a right. certified hood classic. Yes, oh it's a God. certified hood classic. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you motherfucker. What? I I definitely think it seems like Real 20 is like chuggy as hell. I don't know if that might, if that's due to like high traffic or something. I don't know. I guess well, I can take the shovel you. out of my inventory. This usually doesn't Yeah, because you don't have it anymore. Yep. Okay. Goodbye, shovel. Reloaded. Oh, wait, yeah, now you, need a, now you need a new shovel. I have Celeste. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have Reception. a good shovel. What awesome. the fuck? Dude, awesome. I've, been rolling, I've been rolling nines all day! All that work up. I also for rolled a nine. Double nine. On the other one. Yeah. I rolled I've been roll I rolled a seven, a nine, and a nine. What the fuck is really good? Uh, hold and that shit. then there was the last <laughs> sessions where you also rolled. Jesus. Anyway. Fuck anyway. Off. You gotta pray to Gambler. That, that is the strat. Uh anyway. So what do we perceive and perceive it? So you, <laughs> the three of you, save for Prin, see a, a figure kind of like lean in front of the window. It's only a silhouette. And then you hear some rumbling and gumbling. And then immediately the door comes flying open. And all you hear is, You damn son of a bitch walked in my fields again! Boom! <laughs> Dodge! <laughs> a blunderbuss. Who does he shoot at? 
literally just shoots off a shotgun in your general direction. Oh I am I, I was out to dodge. I'm gonna which, hit the fucking deck. <laughs> which I made explicitly clear. Yes. Especially with the fact of that asshole who's right behind me. <laughs> so yeah, Nim, before yeah. anybody even manages to dunk, Lawrence like hits into the ground. <laughs>